hey, just doing a bit of design. Got these floppy disks, bought them on eBay. What I'm doing is uh, got loads of nice pastel colours. I'm basically printing off some cool designs for the front, getting them on stickers, putting them on here, and these are the flavours. And then these go on a like board I print out on Corex plastic, and then I can Velcro them on and off so I can change the flavours for the pudges that we're making, uh, filled fried donut balls. So yeah, I just spend my time doing that, uh, but should be doing the PPE. I actually end up just making videos, talking, while I should be doing it halfway through. Rachel's back with the kids sooner. I'll be gutted that I didn't actually finish it. So yeah, let's talk about productivity. Hi right, everyone. Check out what I'm doing. I am deep in the PPE game. I've got no clue what's going on. I'm just building some wood. The frame I bought some plastic sheet and I'm going to velcro it up into it. I don't know if it said standards or what. I'm not going to spend ages just going, I'm not going to spend ages just going online trying to figure out stuff that you can't figure out. So I'm just making that. It's definitely waterproof, so it's sneeze proof, so I'm pretty sure it'll do the job. And those acrylic things, they cost a fortune, so DIY. Sexy angle that. Check that out. Clouds behind me, hair drooping down. I haven't felt this good for a while. I just want to talk a bit about the cuts I've been doing. Been using the saw, figured out not only does it have the straight 90 degrees, it has a 45 on there, it says 45. That's my frame! Currently making PPE, I just turn around and see this. <laughs> Alright, so here we've got my PPE sorted. Frames come out alright, glued it as well in parts. And then uh, this is the plastic sheet I'm now going to velcro on then cut out around it and then I might try and put some tape around it. I like it to look better, I wanted to spray it and stuff but I just don't have time. Uh, but hopefully I won't need it for that long. <laughs> Check this out. So uh, I didn't really think the plastic would be, I just thought it would be see-through. Check what I'm going to uh, be, uh, you know, smiling at my customers too. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see a thing through it, look. There's a cornfield. Where's the cornfield? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Check this out. This is what it's going to be like. It's going to be like, oh, do you want something? Do you want to? What donuts do you want? Okay, wow, well, sorry, my neck's just. Oh, my neck's just quick. I can't really move. Through there, Lenny. Have a look through there. Look through there. Have a look. <laughs> so uh, a little update on what happened. As you can see, Lenny's even laughing at me. He gets it. Uh, I put it in the van, which was a nightmare as well, just because there's stuff in there and uh, never took it out. It's still there. Didn't use it. Turns out you don't actually have to have it. I had a PPE screen on my face and that was enough. So all for nothing in the end. Uh, but I have ordered some acrylic ones just to go in front of like the sugaring station and the filling station because kids were just putting their hands in the sugar. Like, it's disgusting. I didn't even notice. Another customer said, can you stop that? <laughs> She's like, I was like, that's an absolute corona nightmare. <laughs> I feel like I just admitted guilt there if something goes wrong. Uh, but yeah, I didn't use it. So pointless. <laughs>